E here, coming to you with another update of the Hogwarts Castle. I want to show you what I've built since last time, and more precisely this section here. Now this is the basement again, the section that is next to the kitchens. As you already know, this section here is the kitchens that you can pull and it comes out. Now this section here is of course this building. Again, the roof is not finished. But through here you can enter the corridor where you can enter the kitchens and also the half up of common room according to the lore at least. Now again I decided that since this whole section here is covered uh, I should do I should do this trace once again because it's pretty much impossible for this to be removable since it's a very heavy construction especially when you place the front gates here and the doors of the great hall so I thought the the best way would be to create trays and I mean three separate trays here or drawers or whatever you want to call them I tried them uh, all together in one single uh, piece but since well I'm gonna show you now why I decided to separate them now here is the first one I'm going to pull them out first and then I'm going to show you what they make and the logic behind what I've done now as you can see first of all I have these two arches here now I thought about removing them initially and um, decided against it because they are very important to keep this part here supported and also there is a big piece under here that I no, I can't really show you no it's too dark but basically it's a big piece that kind of holds everything this together and it works really well and if I removed it it would make this whole construction not as sturdy as it is and I really like it the way it is now so these stayed so that means that these these trays here they need to be able to pass through and also if they're all connected they can only be connected here these lines here these spaces need to be free so this whole thing gets to be inserted here and that means that only the front will be connected the back will not and since this whole thing is getting pretty heavy now that means it will be kind of flaky kind of not very balanced and breakable and I just didn't like it it means that this this piece would be up this piece would be down and it makes the whole process of putting this into the uh, slot kind of difficult and problematic and annoying and I decided to just keep them separate now what do we have here I'm gonna turn them around so basically let's simulate the whole room the way it should be now first we have uh, nearly headless knee here coming out of the wall I'm not sure if I can do it better than this but I think it looks pretty good uh, now again the idea uh, this entrance here is basically what would happen if you come out of this door basically you come under this archway uh, let me just find an angle where I can best show you I guess it's best to just show them to you separately first here I've put this little bench and a snake on the wall there is also this chocolate frog some um, torches on the walls random barrel I try to make the walls kind of oh, interesting not to be so static here we have basically um, some more interior and this archway is the entrance to the kitchens basically over here yeah that is where you enter the kitchens 
through here. And now this part here is the entrance to the half of common room. Now I've tried very various ways of making this. Um, I tried with gears at first, with rubber bands, and it kind of didn't do what I wanted them to do. It was not really a great design. Uh, the gears kind of made it uh, kind of stiff. I just didn't like it very much. And I came up with this very simple and kind of uh, intricate uh, way. Basically, this part here gets to reveal the door. This broom over here is not only for show. It's not a coincidence. It's placed here. You, you take it out and you slide it to the far right until you hear a little click. And you slide it all the way left. And there you go. There is the entrance to the half of half common room. And this, and this piece here actually is an entranceway. Now I'm thinking about making this with a gear so it can be lifted but um, for now it's like this and again very simple place the room on the far left slide and it comes back now it's quite simple but I prefer it over the other tests I did with the gears um, and the rubber bands for now I think it's pretty decent now let me just show you the whole thing um, as a complete room so this is on the far side we also have Neville here who is kind of lost I suppose also staring at this spider also random bench and this is how the room actually is together obviously this whole piece here needs to be with uh, tiles so it there is nothing sticking out and i'm also thinking about adding a few braziers here with fires but i still haven't figured out how exactly to make them in a way that i like them but that's pretty much it. Uh, I think it turned out quite well. Could it be done better? Perhaps, most likely. Um, again, some random pieces here that I just used. We'll probably end up replacing them at some point. Same with these here. It's actually starts to annoy me quite a lot and this will not be hidden all the time since uh, the castle the idea of the build is everything to be able to come apart so unless it's really really hidden like these places here it shouldn't be like this so I'm replacing this too pretty soon now over there as you can see I've done some testing for the towers because there's so many towers here alongside the this side of the building and uh, I think I've come up with a pretty decent way to do them but some further testing is required I've also changed the flags there to Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff because I decided to switch them and I want Slytherin Griffin to be on this side facing Dumbledore as he is now and uh, yeah next I believe I am going to focus on these front gates and the doors to the Great Hall which I will order very soon uh, probably by the time you see this they'll already be ordered so I kind of want to have them before I really start doing it and uh, yeah need to finish this wall here and then uh, actually this is starting to look a lot like a building now um, can't really can't wait to do these towers there I think it's gonna look pretty well Pretty, pretty good so yeah let me just place these things as they should be and let's see if I can do it again with one hand without yeah basically this the ledge here is 
is preventing the tray from going in properly. And there we go. Easy peasy. Same with this. And this one. And there you go. Pretty solid construction. And I've left these holes here just so to make them, you know, very easy to uh, take out. Once I make the stairs, they'll obviously be covering everything. So this will only be accessible once you remove the front, which will be obviously the archway in front of the gates, the stairs with a lot of stone, and it will be connected to the courtyard that's in front of the building. Um, in my opinion, not everything needs to be accessible straight away, like as long as it's there and it's you can easily get to it with a few steps, I think it's uh, worth making. Um, I know a lot of people think that, oh, you need to just be like, like this, open a door and everything can be you know, seen and experienced and checked out, but I don't follow that rule. I don't think that's a necessity. I actually think it's a lot better to actually have hidden things and when you show something to somebody, uh, you need to remove some stuff. As long as it's easy, I mean, this front section, the idea is to be easily removed. So you take it out and you're like, oh, you want to see what's inside? And yeah, basically that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Instagram too if you'd like for more updates and nice uh, ideas and pictures of what I'm doing. And uh, that's it for now. I will see you next time. Thank you.